Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this one, I'm going to be going over the Auto-Tune plugins by Antares. Um, these are pretty awesome. And you can see that I have the Essentials version, which is one of the cheaper ones. It's I think it's about $30 a year. And this app I'm using right now is Auto-Tune Central. It's like the central hub for all of their plugins, so really useful for that. So once you purchase the plugins and download the app, you'll want to activate them. So you just see it says activated here. I've already done that, um, but you'll want to activate it. You'll probably need a code from your email or need to log into your account. And then after everything's activated, you're going to want to install them. So you would just hit the install here. I've already done that. So it says installed and it in, it'll install all of these here. So we can see we have Auto-Tune Access 10. That's the actual Auto-Tune plugin that does all the work to tune the vocals. Auto-Key 2 is gonna automatically detect the key and scale that the audio is using. So really useful if you're not sure what key is being used. Duo is gonna be a vocal doubler. So that can be pretty awesome. It's pretty common method of making vocals sound better is to use a doubler and then a microphone modeler right here with mic mod and a frequency de down here with Sybil. So once you have everything installed here on your computer and they all say installed, we can just minimize that. And I have a, my project open in FL Studio. Now to actually get those plugins to show up after you've installed them, you're going to want to go up here to options and then manage plugins. Okay. So these are all the plugins here and wherever you downloaded your plugins, you're going to want to add that folder onto these search paths here. So you'll just click the add folder icon, select whatever folder you used um, that contains the plugins and then just hit select folder. Then you're gonna to wanna to hit find installed plugins up here. And that's just gonna search through all these folders and find all of the plugins that can be used by FL Studio. So you can see it's going through and scrolling down as it finds more of them. All right, so 140 plugins total on here. If we scroll all the way down, you can see, make this a little bigger if I can that we got the auto key, auto tune access, duo and Sybil right here, and the mic mod. So all that looks good. Once that's done, we can close out of that. And then I have the beat in C minor. However, if you're not sure what key your music is in, you can just go over here and I'm using the E flute instrument so that's what my melody is on. So I'm going to want to uh, use uh, the auto key too. So that shows up right here. And if, if your plugin isn't showing up here, you might want to just make sure you have the correct folders selected and do another scan just and make sure everything's installed. But it should show up here if you did all the previous steps. So we'll so select auto key two. And then all you have to do is let your song play for a little bit and auto key is going to listen and then tell you what key it's in. So we'll let it play. All right. Found it pretty quickly. It's in C minor, which is correct. Those are the chord, chord progression that I'm using. And it will also give you the relative. So the relative major is E flat major. Um, so now that we know we're in C minor, I'm going to go over to where I have the vocals in my mixer, which right here, the juicy mix down. And on this one, we're going to choose the auto tune access, which is right here. So this is what's actually going to be auto tuning our vocals for us. So the first thing we want to do is make sure it's in the right key and scale. So the key is correct of C but we want it to be minor, so we'll switch it to minor. Okay, and then down here you can remove notes or play notes, and this really depends on the vocals. Um, 
some if there's like a lot of missing notes from the scale you'll probably want to do play otherwise you can leave it on remove it really depends uh it's a really specific thing depending on the vocals so just kind of listen back and forth see which one sounds better and if we play this now can see our auto tune is working now and we can change the speed here so if you really if you really want the audio to move really quickly to the correct pitch you want to keep it on fast otherwise you can slow it down so it sounds maybe a little bit more natural and then humanize over here um, this is for sustain notes so it can make it feel uh, sound more realistic basically or more human so if we play that So you can hear there is a, a slight difference there in how those sustain notes are being um, auto-tuned. That basically is going to auto-tune that whole file for us. So really simple. Don't really have to do a lot else. And you can kind of just play with this. I usually go between medium and fast. Um, sometimes slow might be good. It really depends on the vocalist too. If they're hitting the correct notes a lot, you could probably keep it on slow or medium if, or unless you're really going for that sound where you want it to be changing really quickly and you want that specific sound, then just go fast. Uh, but yeah, that is how you use the Auto-Tune Access by Antares. That'll be it for this video. If you want to see more about the doubler or any of the other plugins, let me know and I'll be sure to make a video about those too. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.